Okay, so uh, service time for the VR6. Uh, we've got oil filter, air filter, some Castrol Edge, titanium, full synthetic oil. Uh, also going to fix a leak on the oil filter housing. So we've got the, the gasket there and I'm just going to swap out the two senders on, sensors on top of it, oil pressure sensors. Um, just because they could be leaking too, so we'll take the whole thing off, clean it up, new sensors, new filters, some new oil, and we should be should be golden for a while. Feels nice and warm. Let that drain. So there we go, there's the oil leak we're chasing. Um, certainly looks like it's coming from the oil filter housing, that's the common place for it to leak. So there's oil on the housing and there's oil on the block behind. So we'll take the whole thing off and see what's going on. First, first V8. Oil filters are 36 on these. You can take the drain plug out in the middle, but you never get a new gasket for that, so I just take the whole thing off and deal with the slight spillage. Pretty good, pretty good at dealing with a big spillage, so a little bit of filter housing piffle doesn't do much. Right, so for the oil filter housing there's three bolts, two kind of on the bottom, one up top, uh, 13 mil, so I'll crack those off and take the housing out. Uh, a bit hard to film, so we'll take it off and you'll see what it's like when I take it off and clean it. There we go, filter housing's out, that's our dubious seal. So cool, clean that up and we'll uh, go from there. Right, so we've cleaned up the housing, next we'll swap out these two sensors. There's 24mm, ideally a deep socket which I don't have, or a spanner which I don't have. So maybe a little bit seeping from this, from the blue one. The other one looks pretty watertight, oil tight even. To work out which is which on that, we got a blue one. And what's it? Double check our part numbers.
Right, so that's the right one. We'll just stick on a little bit of the old aviation former gasket. Get a good seal. Same too. There we go, nice and tight. So both sensors are working fine, but a bit of a pain in the ass to get in there. So we thought we'd change them out. They're pretty cheap. Place the 20 year old ones, so we'll do that. Next, we've got the, the gasket. Pretty solid this gasket, I think it's um, been for a few heat cycles. Just gotta be careful not to damage any of the aluminum. Yeah, she's rooted. It's coming out in pieces. Always a good sign it's um, past its best. Let's do a bit of a brush as best we can. Seal, that's a part number if you're interested. I'm kind of partial to this form, I guess it's stuff, it doesn't set, it's just a flexible. Do Ricky. is kind of past its best but better some brown shit than no brown shit again I really don't want to have to go back in there so
So yeah, branch it on the top too. Grab our screws and we'll jam her back on. There we go, the bottom of the oil filter, filter housing is all tidied up. I'll take the old fire ring off. Now the question is, am I going with a male filter or the man filter? Well, as I've got my gloves on, it's always good when you're handling your man parts, so I think I'll go for the man filter. Thanks to Zig for pointing that one out. The new o ring. And my filter, ready to go on the car. I couldn't show you a lot of taking things off, putting it putting them back on, it's only three bolts and three single wires but VR6 yellow um, not a lot of room, you can't, can't I couldn't see it, you're not going to see it on the camera but um, I'll try and give you an after of, of all the work I've just done uh, hopefully sort out the oil leaks uh, one of the reasons for doing this is if you remember put a link up here uh, I've just replaced the dry shaft oil seal and I started noticing I was still getting drops of oil on the floor, so I was thinking my oil seal was foobard again, but I don't think it is. I think it was just a combination of a couple of little engine oil leaks, this one being the main one, uh, that was causing the problem. Time will tell, but I'll give it a, a good clean off and uh, see where we go from there. So, on we go. Washer, new oil filters on. The new oil seal, we've got the new oil seal to oil seal on the housing and I'll top it up. Uh, today we're using Castrol Edge 5W40. Why am I using that? Well because it was on special offer. Pure and simple. But it's high quality oil. Always what you want in your VR6 because they get flipping up. But yeah this was the same price as semi-synthetic whatever else so Give it a treat. Takes about five and a half litres, so we'll dump the whole five in and then see where we're at. So this guy hasn't actually done many K since he was last serviced in December. Uh, but I make a point of servicing everything at least twice a year, regardless of mileage, just because sitting idle is just as bad as driving lots, so you get moisture and all sorts. So. It's always a good chance to have a good look around your car, fix up any little issues and whatever. Although I'm pretty familiar with all the issues with this car. Uh, if you want to drive the one of the best sounding engines in the world then you've got to put up with a little bit of temperamentality. Is that a word? There we go, five litres in. Try not to drop, drop too much. Uh, just because I haven't done it for a while and I happen to have one, we'll change the air filter as well. So I've, ch I've changed this once when I first got the car, which was two plus years ago. We'll see what it looks like. Now you could always go for a, um, a performance air filter on your VR6. Might give a nice induction noise. It's hardly worth changing that, but we're going to do it anyway just because what was it? that was a, a mild. So we're going from mild to man. Yeah, I'm sure that one would have been fine for a while, but swap it out, give the car some love. VR6 is love, love. Yeah, so um, it's part of the uh, 
project I'll call it out soon we're, we're going to be doing something with intakes and exhausts and all sorts so get in you lovely car There we go, new air filter, new oil, new oil filter coolant was done last month, much before, whenever that was. So the aircar should be in pretty good shape. Hopefully it looks good. Everything else looks good. See if I can get you a shot of the old, uh, the work we've just done, but I'm not don't want too hopeful. Oh yeah, so you can just about see the top of the oil filter housing, it's next to the oil cooler, heat exchanger, whatever you're going to call it today. Looks nice and clean at the moment. I'll clean up the underside, check the oil and then we're done. So there we go, there's the old filter after six months. Held together pretty well, that's a mild filter. So yeah, pretty good quality. So it's, um, check the oil, let's give her a start up, eh? see what she says. But... 